In Adobe Illustrator, this is how I like to create a quad format. In other words, a two by two grid. I'm going to start a new file and then increase the number of artboards to four. I am choosing a square format here. Then I need to go to more settings to set the spacing between the artboards. If you don't see that button, you might need to click on advanced options. In more settings, I will take the spacing down to 0.125 and be sure that one of the grid formats is selected. Then create. I will insert an image to demonstrate how this works by going to the file dropdown and place. With my image selected, I will click and drag over the first artboard. I can scale in proportion when I hold down the shift key. I'll move it around until I find a framing I like. Then I will go to the crop feature to drag the handles so that the image bounds match the artboard bounds. It's important to not have any artwork outside of the artboard bounds in order to achieve the desired quad look when exporting to a PNG. Now I will use the image trace feature. Then I will copy and paste the image onto each artboard. In a different video, I explain lots of ways to modify the vector art we just created. Here's a helpful tip when working with multiple artboards. Organize and lock your sub layers. I'll go to the layers panel and open up layer one. Here are my four images. Clicking on the artboard tool will show you the order of your artboards. I will double click on each layer and rename them to match the artboard it is on. Now I can easily tell which image I am modifying and I can lock the images that I'm not working on to protect them from unwanted modifications. I want to show one way of modifying this image because it proves the usefulness of locking layers. I will select one shape and then go to the select drop down and then same and then fill color. I'll choose yellow. As you can see, it changed all of the shapes with the same color to this new color. If I had not locked the other images, all of them would have changed like Artboard 1 did. The fun of a quad is to make each quadrant look different. Now to export to a PNG. The important part here is to not check use artboards. This will give us the quad look. Otherwise, each image would save in a separate file. I'll open this up in my preview application and voila! I've got my pop art inspired quad with a transparent background.